Welcome to this week's edition of Mountain Outhouse News. I'm your host, Jam Jam. This is the crazy to happen in running this week. This week's stories include Western States 100 canceled, Unbreakable is released, and Barkley 2020 start time revealed. Well, here it is, folks. After the first wave of cancellations affecting quite a few local races in and around the United States, the granddaddy of them all has fallen. The 2020 Western States Endurance Run has officially been canceled. Reportedly, they were exhausting all options to postpone, but could not get approval from the state of California to do so. So there will be no Western States 100 in 2020. All entrants and waitlisters from this year will be offered an entry into next year, but there may be an additional fee associated with maintaining your entry. There will likely not be a lottery for 2021 unless the entire waitlist is cleared out. Kind of crazy to think about it, but for the vast majority of us who are not on the current entry list, our next shot at the race will be in 2022. Just think about that. Fortunately, or maybe detrimentally, everyone will have a two-year window now in which to qualify. We may all need that as a large chunk of this year's qualifiers are likely also to be canceled. Man, how many people are gonna be signed up? On a related note, the blockbuster film on the 2010 Western States 100, Unbreakable, which features Anton, Hal, Jeff, and Killian, we've covered on this show in the early days, has finally been released for free public viewing on YouTube. If you want to check it out, head over to Journey Film on YouTube. Thanks, JB. Understandably, the Broken Arrow Sky Race, which is normally held the weekend prior to Western States out of Squaw Valley, California, has also been canceled presented by Solomon. The next domino to fall after the Western States cancellation was its SoCal sister, the Angeles Crest 100. Citing the health and safety of runners, volunteers, and officials, the AC 100 will not be held in 2020. Instead, all current entrants will get a chance to enter next year. There is no info on whether they will have to pay the full entry fee again. Now that races are canceled, does that mean running is as well? Well, not exactly. In fact, outdoor recreation is booming and has likely never been bigger. With bars, restaurants, and many places of business closed, with professional sports canceled and springtime weather hitting many places around the country, people are heading outside in droves to the trails. Parks and trails are packed, overcrowded, making it difficult to maintain proper social distancing, which is extremely recommended right now. Which brings us to a concept floating around what is your COVID footprint? What are you doing to reduce your interactions with others and keep transmissions down? I'd love to hear what you are doing in your part of the world in the comments. And I'd like to put a call out to the Outhouse Nation to share a video of yourself and what you are doing to change your normal habits where you live. Address the Outhouse Nation, send them to me, and you could be featured in next week's show. Well, just a few days ago, Italy totally banned jogging and other outdoor recreation activities. That's 60 million people on lockdown without access to running, but not super surprising as they've been one of the hardest hit countries thus far. Some viewers from Utah were practicing their own social distancing while running with a little art. Drawing this design with a combination of seven different runners, pretty cool. Thanks to Kenise Hart for sharing, and credit goes to Kevin Traver for the video. If you're enjoying this week's show, please drop a like on the video and comment below your favorite story of the week and why. Ian Sharman is issuing a challenge in the one mile run. Do you know your mile time? Well, Ian decided to give it a shot and see if he could go for a personal best. Not sure he made that, but he busted out a 453. Not bad. If you'd like to join Ian, tag your all out effort, hashtag fast mile. Okay, here's a story that put a smile on my face. With the Golden Trail series this summer in an unknown status, we can for the time check out this video posted by Joseph Lewis Roca on Twitter of a runner on a treadmill making his way up the infamous steep climb of Zagama virtually with a cheering crowd encouraging him onward. Also getting in on some treadmill live streaming is not only Killian, but also Pal Capel. These guys ran for three hours in a I Run at Home challenge showing up on a stream with Jordi Saragossa to raise money for COVID relief and research. It sounds like they were able to pull in over 82,000 euros. Amazing. 
live streams, live streams, live streams. I have a feeling this is gonna be a, around for a while. The next thing I'm seeing are backyard live streams. All you need is a patch of grass, some buckets or cones, and you've got yourself some pretty exciting sports coverage, to be honest. For instance, Gareth Allen live streamed his short track marathon, dubbed the Garden Marathon, to literally tens of thousands of people online. Thrilling. Over the past week, we saw many groups, including the running community, entire countries, and more push for the postponement of the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo. U.S. Marathon Trials runner-up Jake Riley made a call for it, saying he didn't want a watered-down version of the Olympics due to the current landscape, where athletes can't train and compete in full. Canada even pulled out in advance of a decision which was finally made by the IOC to officially postpone the Olympic Games to 2021. This forced a domino effect on the global running calendar with World Athletics already moving the 2021 world champs to 2022. With the Barkley literally supposed to be happening as I film this episode, we do have one inspiring story related to the race that eats its young this year. 15th finisher John Kelly took on a five times Barkley challenge loop solo run all within a 60 hour time limit. Since Frozen Head is only open dawn till dusk, John ran a double loop two days in a row, followed by a final fifth loop on his third morning. His first day, he ran the 41 miles in seven hours, 56 minutes. Loops three and four were run in 8.55, and his last loop was done in 4.41. This week's bonus story found in our Glasses Off post show. I will share some footage from Laz blowing this year's conch shell, reveal the would-be start time of the race, and give the play-by-play -play of the Barkley Legends virtual race happening now. Gain access by joining Steep Life Media on Patreon. Michael Wardian, without any races to run, took to the Appalachian Trail for an attempt on the four-state FKT. That's 42 miles along Pennsylvania, Maryland, West Virginia, and Virginia. John Kelly is the holder of that record time. No surprise there. Wardian reported that he didn't quite beat the 639 best, but still had a blast out there. Seems FKT season is in full swing. Over in the track and field world, Kara Goucher celebrated receiving a silver medal, a staggering 12 years after the World Championship race. Yup, another case of doping damaging clean athletes' achievements. So let's recognize that now. Kara back in 2007 placed third in the 10,000 meter World Track and Field Champs in 3202, but due to Elvin Abigalesi's steroid bust in 2015, she was upgraded. This is where it gets weird. She didn't get her upgraded medal, although it was announced she was second. It took another five years to get the thing. That's some crazy shit. Boa Barch came out of the shadows recently for a split second, teasing a return of UR Madness, especially timely given college basketball has been canceled. But here we are, March 28th, and that's it. No new information. What happened? Stay tuned for some virtual race coverage over the next few weeks. With races canceled indefinitely, this may be our best option to come together as a community and provide some race coverage for this show. I myself am currently signed up for three. The I Run Far Operation Inspiration Virtual Race, the Quarantined Backyard Ultra, and the Error Vipa Strong. Still not sure if I'm going to go for the 50k or 50 miler at Error Vipa Strong, but more to come on all three of them and I've linked them in the description below so you can join along too. Here's the Air of Epa Strong swag, by the way. I have a correction from last week's Georgia Loop FKT. Ben Feinson actually ran 11.25.25, but I incorrectly called out Ben Mercer's time, which was actually the supported record and still stands. Feinson ran unsupported. My apologies. Thank you for tuning in to episode 188 of Outhouse News. Be sure to subscribe to get the latest episode, and if you'd like to support the show, please join Steep Life Media on Patreon, where you'll enjoy bonus content each week right from me for as little as $2 per month. We want to mention by name our $25 level supporters and up. At the $100 level, Terry Rashid. At the $50 level, Squirrels Nut Butter, Brian Sands, Mark Grabowski, Renee Feint, Peter and Patty Curry, Peter Tower, Travis Longcar, Johnny, and the Twisted Fork Ultra out of Park City as well as our $25 level supporters, Bluebird Running Company, Sean Trujillo, Carrie Savage, Casey Carter, and Jeff Holbrook. And finally, if you'd like to own this custom pair of Jam Jam's Riot sunglasses, check out the link below. 
Have a shitty week.